Hey everyone, before the video continues, I wanted to talk a little bit about Croesus because I was reading all the comments in episode number one, and some of you had some questions about why Croesus does not fit in to the no leeching rule. To start off, I'm going to explain the spirit of the no leeching rule. In my opinion, if I've got a hardcore Iron Man and I've got higher level accounts with better gear, carrying me through things like Elite Dungeon 3 for high stats and lots of money, as well as even things like God Wars 2 or God Wars 3 for gear, it's kind of cheese because you're taking the risk out of it by allowing other high tier accounts to carry you through things. With that being said, here's why, in my opinion, Croesus is different. Uh, the first thing is contribution score matters. The more you're able to help out in the Croesus encounter, the better the chance you have to receive loot. And because I'm a super low level, I can't really contribute a whole lot. And because of that, the chance of me getting anything super useful, very, very low to none. The second thing for Croesus is that it is entirely safe. Although it is technically a boss, it is a skilling boss. And to me, it being a skilling activity that is safe, combined with the fact that your contribution score matters with regard to your loot, makes it something that I am able to do in a mass if I would like to for Reaper assignment. If you ask me my personal feelings on if I think this is good game design or if this should be a thing, I would say probably not. It is very strong to be able to boost your Slayer level by getting a guaranteed Croesus Reaper every single day, but that's my explanation as to why it is not leeching or doesn't go against my rules. With that said as well, you're welcome to disagree with me. Not everyone is going to understand or interpret the rules the exact same way that I do, but I think it's okay, and I wanted to take you guys through why. Okay, back to the video. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day two of the Hardcore Iron Man adventure. How we doing, everyone? I hope everyone is good. We're picking up right where we left off yesterday, except I got an extra two rune crafting levels because I felt like it. I'm honestly really excited for today. We have so many fun things to do. We got like 10 quests. We got like, we got a bunch of stuff. I'm just excited. I'm happy to be here. Okay, first things first, we need to do Vizwax, which means I am about to spend like, oh my, oh my goodness. Dude, that's so much money. Okay, I don't know what the combo is, but let's, uh, let's get some Vizwax going with the few runes that I actually have. Good enough for me. 66 Vizwax. We take those. With the, uh, with the rune selection we currently have, that's honestly quite good. So, stretch goal for today is to not get dropped to uh, 20 life points again. That's a bit of a stretch goal. I don't know if we'll be able to do it, but that's that's kind of the stretch goal. All right, we're going we're gonna to try and make that happen. Chat, do you guys know how to change the name of a runescape clan? We got to talk to the scribe. Okay. Actually, wait. We should open up our progression path, and then I've talked to the scribe at the clan camp. Okay. Okay, let's go back to the young wiki page. Should we got daily city? We got to get a reaper. Oh, yeah, daily challenges first. We have to start with that, of course. Um, but we did do vis viswax. There we go. We're on step 36 right now of our progression path. Chat, we're changing the name of our clan, and we're converting it into a special Iron Man clan. Welcome to the new clan. Tall and clanly. Yeah, it's a swear. Why? Why is clanly a swear? It could just be tall. <laughs> just straight up tall. Perfect. I think it's good. I think it's good. Done. You are all known as tall for the first time in my freaking life. Welcome to clan tall. Anyone is welcome. Preferably if you're a brand new hardcore Iron Man, but I don't care. Okay, we have like three million things to do today. So we should probably start doing the three million things we've got to do today. Alrighty, let's turn in these dailies. And just like that, we are 23 fletching and 10 woodcutting. That's actually so solid. And we are also 300 total level as well. Let's go to Solomon's and I need Ores. I think we'll start by getting Jot for sure. Do I want another Jack of Trades? What does this one do? Keen skills. So we got Master Jot. We're going to get Sure Footed. Okay, we'll get Penance while we're here. We'll get Penance. Cool, cool, cool. Green Fingers done. And we'll upgrade it a bit too. And we'll save like 50 kilo LD points for anything else we need. Sweet. All right. It's time to train our skills. Finally. Um. Okay. So training magic in range to level 40. Bro, am I getting crashed by Ozan? Does he be really, really careful that we don't die? Because that would be a really embarrassing way to go down. So we are going to be careful. It will get a lot easier as we get some HP levels. We've just done no combat at this point. But yeah, look how fast the levels are coming at this. This is actually nuts. As soon as we're at the level where we can one-shot them consistently, we could just start spamming target cycle and they don't even get to attack back. Level 10 range coming in. Let's freaking go. Did you actually almost die yesterday? Yeah, I literally got knocked at 20 HP. We honestly got lucky and I should have had to restart the account. It was that bad. Should my girlfriend ditch our drinking session to go to bed? It's 2 a.m. and we've only finished one bottle of alcohol. Hey, so I know you want to go to bed, but I want to continue to get drunk. And uh, I asked this RuneScape streamer who's tall and manly and he thinks you should continue drinking. How's it been? It's been good. Uh, the clan has been renamed to Tall. Tall and look at all the people in it. Tall and booming. 
Should be. Anyone wants an invite to Clan Tall. All you gotta do is be over seven feet tall or able to lie. Oh yeah, guys, if you don't know, uh, Jack Taz thinks that we have a community fish, that it's his responsibility to arrive in chat and feed every day. The problem is I went on vacation last month for a week. So I didn't stream for like eight days. So um, something happened to the fish but he's still feeding the fish it's just it's just copium it's just copium 15 hp let's go 20 combat that's actually that's hype very important every hp level we get makes it less likely that i'm gonna die trying to grab a wine of zamrock like an idiot can i get a tail there on the new arrows yeah they're absolutely op but they're so incredibly difficult to upkeep that like i'm gonna do a lot of croesus on this account right like like we're talking thousands of kills and it's going to be enough to do like four Solak hours of gaming. It's going to be great. That is level 20 range coming in. Let's go. 20 down, 20 more to go. Bro, what are some of these names? Okay, wait. We've got dead and manly, tall and manly, tall and poor, deep and manly, tall and girly, hard and manly. Guys, I love the naming convention. I love the naming convention. It's perfect. It's actually perfect. That is 20 constitution coming in. Either way, I'm honestly, I'm way happier on this account. I just, it was time for a new adventure and a new series too. Like I, solo was, was great. It was a lot of fun. I'm excited for consistent content uploads on the YouTube channel as well. I think it needs it. Like, I think the next three or four months of content is going to be nuts because there are going to be solo episodes coming out over the next two or three months. There are going to be hardcore uploads, like probably two a week. And then we've also got um, show uploads because the current plan for the show that I'm doing with Jagex is short episodes that get posted onto their channels and then full length episodes going out on my channel. Okay, we're gonna buy a spider wand and orb, I guess for now. The first ever 100 point perfect run of Gathexian caches. Let's freaking go, dude. That is absolutely massive. It doesn't get any better than that. And we are now Level 33 Divination, popping off in an unprecedented way. Alrighty, that is level 40 in the range scale. I need to sneeze. Oh no, I ruined the clip. Oh boy. <laughs> so sorry, YouTube. We're gonna we're gonna go do a Cruises Reaper. <laughs> the Hunter Note is actually busted. Look at all the XP drops. Let's get like 30 Hunter levels for this. Level 10 fishing coming in. We absolutely take those. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Anyone got fish? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Put the fish in. We need one more fish, chat. You're throwing. He's got AFK with the fish. He's got the fish. Please. No. Faster. Oh no. Oh no. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. Prage, Prage, Prage harder. Oh no. This ain't looking good. This ain't looking good. This ain't looking good. It was so close. Alrighty. Run right it back. All right. I'm going to the fish spot. I'm going to run those fish myself if I have to. Alrighty. After the struggle of a lifetime, the tall and manly Croesus mass was able to succeed. And we are now level 40 Slayer. Um, Quirms, Onyxes, I mean, none of this does anything for us right this second, but... Okay, the plan now is we need level 40 magic. Once bananas. Wait, we are level 400 total. That's unreal. That means we've done 102 total levels in the last two hours. That's level 30 magic, 10 more levels to go. Oh, see you in 10 minutes when we've got that. Yeah, now that we've got Surge, Croesus is going down. It's over for Croesus. Alrighty, that's 40 magic. That was the goal. We are now 431 total. 35 HP as well. Bunch of wrecks done there for a number of quests. And also we should be able to, you know, do enough damage here and have enough HP to survive most early game quest bosses. Yeah, these are all fast quests too. We're gonna get so many QPs and we get so much money from the quest point shop. It's just gonna be a good time. 16-ish years ago, when I first did this quest, it was the first time I hit a 20. I had an adamant crossbow. Not me after yesterday, killing a monk of Samurai. <laughs> this feels like revenge. I just aggroed three of them. This is such a throwback to yesterday. I just aggroed another. Oh, dude, I'm throwing. Just run. Just run. Just run. And priest in peril quest complete. Thank you 
so much to my beautiful wicked hood. Okay, so this is the boss fight. I need to read up on it really quick. Let's run around rear of other gods and stamp out the flames to reach death while avoiding fireballs. I'm scared about this. This could be bad. This could be bad, bad. How do I move him? How do I get him to move? Okay, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. Damn, that Sasuke fella is tall and manly, almost as much as the guy in the webcam. Almost is very operative though. Good use of the word almost, I would agree. Alrighty, missing presumed death done. Um, supposed to use the XP lump on strength? Fair enough. And we're now 452 total, some agility levels, some prayer levels, we take those. Next quest is one of the hardest quests in the game, Gertrude's Cat. Let's go. Alrighty, Gertrude's Cat complete. Six cooking levels as well, level 14. Our fellas looking wild dapper and got the smell to back it up. Okay, um, two, two things. First thing, uh, quest complete. Second thing, I now need therapy. That was a weird quest. That was straight up just a weird quest. You know, normally like you have a certain amount of experience points, right? You got to max out different, you know, classes. You got like your speed, your strength, your agility. I am right now currently all the way maxed out in both tall and manly. I don't have runes. Yo, I'm boxing his ass. I don't care. I'm only, tw I'm 12 strength. Wait, I may not win this 1v1. The only reason I'm winning this fight is because of my HP level. Let's go. That is the end of the quest. One quest point, some thieving XP. We take those. Actually, 11 thieving levels, or rather level 11, 10 levels. That's huge. And a monk's friend quest complete six wood cutting levels we're now level 17 on to the next quest which is clock tower there we go clock tower quest complete next quest on our list is sheep herder okay wait is this the third or the fourth PETA violation of the day yeah but you know what? this is good because it's to stop the spread of a totally real plague it's for public health so it is paramount that we had to sacrifice these sheep in the incinerator that is the sheep herder quest complete Four quest points, absolutely beautiful. And we are now on step 59. The next couple of quests are all very, very spooky with combat. So we're gonna do is we're gonna get an invite of food from the cake stall. And then as soon as we got food from the cake stall, we are gonna be doing Jack of Trades for the first time ever. I'm super excited about it. We're gonna make a little preset for it. Okay, so I gotta change 15 skills. Take the rabbit. Oh, they don't drop bones anymore. Yeah, this is gonna be clean. Grab everything there. Bury the bones. Farming XP. Okay, we're already at nine skills. Yeah, that's cheesy. I dropped two trees. So now we're gonna light this one. Fletch that. Mining smithing. Easy. Um, who do I talk to? Alrighty, that's jot number one. Jot number one, 440 agility XP. That is actually quite good. Did Jagex say anything about hardcores that died to crashing? Yeah, they did. Um, they said this. Here, wait, let me pull it up. They sent, uh, they sent this out to everybody. Here's, here's what they sent out. To anyone that lost a hardcore to a, uh, to a client crash. So... Anyway, I think the stance is pretty good. Just remember, the game mode is more fun when there's a near certainty of losing it to factors that are out of your control. Okay, chat, it's time for the waterfall quest. Let's go. Okay, that's waterfall quest done. We've now hit 40 quest points and look at the level ups there. That was like 50 total levels. We're now 31 strength, 30 attack. Actually a beautiful quest. All right, on to the next one. Do you guys know about the Easter egg with the candle maker? So the options are buy one candle, 10, 5,500. And if you try and buy four candles, instead of giving you four candles, it gives you a fork handle. This is, I think, one of my favorite RuneScape player models. Look at this. Now that is a tall and manly man right there. Alrighty. Holy Grail quest complete. Look at the XP out of that. We're now 31 def and 30 prayer as well. 577 total. And we're on day two. Player called Crystal Cove unlocks the entire forest for everybody what how long is how long have they been doing that that is fascinating 
She's been doing it for eight years? I, this is, I, I've never seen this before. That's actually ridiculous. She maps it every single day. As long as nobody leaves, it stays instant. So she just stays in it all day, every day and has for eight years. That's some crazy deep RuneScape lore dedication stuff. Oh my goodness. There she is. Sorry, that's nuts. Done this since day one of release. That's nuts. Yeah, you guys could have told me that. Instead of saying, have fun in the scary forest, you could have said, hey, Ryan, there's a literal elf who's been standing here for eight years. With the Holy Grail quest complete, that marks the end of episode number two of our Hardcore Iron Man journey. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you want to do that, but you guys know all that stuff. Outside of that, I'm super excited for tomorrow because it's going to mark the single greatest day of questing I think I've ever attempted in my life. We have a ton of progress to make and I'm so excited to get to it.